All right, are you dealing with some food aggression? So in today's videos, I'm gonna go over how I fixed his food aggression and showed him that it was a good thing to give me his food and a bad thing not to. So when he first came to me, his owners couldn't come anywhere near him. The minute he started eating his food, he would get on guard. You can see how freaking massive this boy is. It scared his family, uh, rightfully so. So when he came to me, I started with, as you can see, I've got a list of tools out here on the table for you. So I started off with these items when it came to taking his food. And of course, I tethered this dog because he's huge. And by tethering, I mean I hooked him up to another spot. So I hooked him up to this bench right here. And I just slipped this in around him before I started these exercises. Now you do this for multiple reasons. Number one is so you don't get hurt. The big dog like this, if he comes at me, now I can just step back and he can't hurt me. He's tethered to the fence, he can't go any farther, and I can sit there, I can stand my ground, and I can show him that I'm not gonna back down and he's gotta give me his food. So I'm gonna go through these exercises with you. First thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some kind of object to stick in their food bowl to take away that food. I've got his food and I also have some delicious goat, some tr tasty treats that we're gonna add into his food after he gives it to me. Now this gives him value to give the food away. He starts to learn, okay, when I give them the food, I get something in return back. And he doesn't just take away the food and it disappears, right? Because that's usually where that aggression starts coming from. They start getting protective, also known as resource guarding, their resource, their food. They're telling you, get away from my food, I'm gonna eat this. So then when you take the food and then you add value to it, you give them some chicken, add something to their food, they go, ooh. So actually, if I give them the food, I'm gonna get something even better in return. So now I'm gonna start these exercises and I'm gonna show you how I did it with this guy step by step. And if you wanna see how we do it, stay tuned. All right, so first thing is I claim the food. This food is mine and I want him to understand he cannot take the food. And if he wants the food, he needs to look at me and ask permission with his eye contact, his body language. He needs to be patiently waiting for that food. All right, then, add eat, buddy. So I used in the beginning my walking staff because it's sturdy and I had a dog mess up a broom I had at one point. So I started using the staff more often. But if you don't have a staff, get one. <laughs> Especially if you've got a big dog like this. Not, you'll just be replacing your broom and you can use your broom. All right, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna give them some kind of cue word that you want that food. I used, all right, enough. All right, enough. And I came in and I pretty much just stuck my items in his bowl. The minute I did that, he stopped and he looked at me. Stay, good boy. And then I took it away and I added that value. Here you go, have some goat, buddy. Good say, good job, good enough. Good job giving that to me. Good boy. Leave it. Now I do the exercise again. He's not allowed to have the food until I give him the food. All right, buddy. Addies, good boy, good boy. So with this guy, I made sure to do this exercise with my pole, my broom, until he completely stopped, until he showed me zero aggression. Until I was able to walk around him and do whatever I wanted, he was fine. Then I took my fake hands, very cheap fake hands, you can get one online, you can find them all over the place. I took this fake hand and I started practicing with my fake hand. I would say, all right, enough. And I took his bowl just like that with my fake hand. As you can see, he just kind of was like, oh, whatever. You can give him a command. All right, buddy, sit. Good boy, good boy, stay. Good job. Now with this fake hand, you know if you bite your fake hand, you're gonna be fine. Nothing's gonna happen. You're good. Stay, he actually never bit my hand, my fake hand. He was very good. So remember, we're adding value every time we take this bowl away. Good boy. And as you can see, I'm not afraid of him attacking me, so his tether's really just there for you guys, so you guys can see. He's a good dog, he's not gonna hurt me. All right, so I'm gonna do the same exercise. Stay, 
All right, out of you, buddy. Good boy. Good job. I'm going to let him eat for a little while. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see what we're doing here. We're gradually showing him that, for one, I'm not going to back down. If you do challenge me on his food, as of course he's not challenging me, but if he did, you would see a very scary dog very quickly. And all I would do is stand my ground, getting right in the distance where I know his leash is going to protect me. He can no longer go any farther. And I'm just going to stand there. I'm going to either hold my broom in his food, and I'm going to pull his food towards me. If he attacks the broom, I might say no, and just pull the food right to me. Point is, I'm standing my ground. I'm not going to run away from him. I'm showing him that that is my food. I'm taking it back from him. And when you give it back, I'm going to give you something good. So after doing multiple exercises with my fake hand, I moved on to my gloved hand. You know, he was doing really good, but I had yet to stick my hand in there. And so I wasn't going to do that with my normal hands and get a messed up hand. No, 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 no. Don't want to do that. Get some very sturdy gloves. These are meant for baby bears. And I mean, they're pretty strong gloves, pretty good gloves. Um, and so then you do that same exercise with these gloves, okay? All right, Bane, enough. Good boy, good enough. As you see, he's just like, eh, whatever. He's done this with me so many times. And that's the goal, is to do it to a point where you can trust him. I can now feed this dude in my kitchen, I can feed him wherever I want. And I know he's gonna be totally fine. Good boy. All right, sit. Good job, stay. Good boy. Stay. Good. I'm just gonna make him wait a little while. And ah, look at me. Ah, look at me. He's looking at my doggy over there. Not my kitty. Not my kitty. He's not afraid of him either. Ben, look at me. All right, at ease. Good boy. Good boy. All right. So this next part is really the only dangerous part if you've been doing it right, because now you gotta stick your hands in. <laughs> you gotta have confidence. You gotta believe, like Naruto says, believe it. All right. One thing that I, uh, you know, think to myself whenever I'm working with these dogs is no matter how many times they show me this behavior, I'm just gonna correct that. I'm gonna move on, and eventually they're gonna get it. That's what I think to myself. I think if they challenge me again, hey, whatever, I'll win. They'll get over it. It'll be done. So when you're ready, you can say enough, and you can actually take it with your hands. All right. Now this was a long process with this boy. If you're gonna do this kind of thing, just know that there are there are possibilities of you getting hurt, especially when you have such a huge dog like Bane and you're trying to take food away from them when they're showing aggression. But personally, I don't wanna live my life where I'm walking and tiptoeing around a dog. I'm just not gonna do it. That is not a behavior that is acceptable in my dog pack. Just plain and simple, that's how I come at these problems. When I meet a dog with any kind of aggression issue, any issue like this, it's not acceptable, plain and simple. And I will correct you every single time until you understand that you can't do it anymore. And then I'll give you something good in return if you listen to me. So that's what we practice with Bane. If this video gave you value, like, comment on it. Let me know if you use any techniques like this to fix your dog's food aggression. Tell me if you're gonna try it out. Tell me if something went wrong. Give me your questions. I'm here to help you guys. I'm always here to help dogs, most important. All right, Bane, sit. Good boy. Yeah, good dog. Stay and daddy. Good boy, very good boy. Until next time, guys, I'll see you then.